This video is going to give you an introduction to the Poisson distribution. Now the Poisson distribution is another probability distribution. It turns out it's a discrete distribution, but it's a little bit different than anything you've seen so far this semester. Let me give you a motivational example for the Poisson distribution. A professor's office hours last from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. He counts the number of students who come for assistance during that hour, and he notices that historically there's been an average of three students who show up for each of his office hours. So he sits down at his desk at 9 o'clock and waits for the first person to arrive. The first person arrives at 9.03. So the professor sits down, helps the student out, sends them on their way, and waits for the next student to arrive for help. That next person arrives 17 minutes later at 9.20. And he does the same thing, answers some questions, and sends the student on their way. Waits for the next one to arrive. Next person shows up at 9.32. Exact same process. Gets some help. That student leaves. And the final student shows up five minutes before office hours are over at 9.55 for some last-minute questions. The professor's office hour then ends at 10 o'clock. Here's what we do with the Poisson distribution. Let's let x denote the random variable for the number of arrivals. There were four students who came for help during this time frame. So what this means is that the value of our Poisson random variable is equal to 4. The Poisson distribution measures the number of arrivals in a given period of time. In this case, we had a one hour period of time, and we witnessed four students arriving. We witnessed four arrivals. So the value of our random variable here is equal to 4. More specifically, the Poisson distribution is a discrete probability distribution that allows us to calculate the probability of a given number of events that occur in a given time frame. So it's discrete just like the binomial distribution. In the binomial distribution, these events were called successes. In the Poisson distribution, the events are called arrivals. It's the number of arrivals that you witness during some given period of time. Just like the binomial distribution, these events have to be independent from one another. So in our previous example, one student going to office hours can't impact whether or not some other student decides to go to office hours. The average number of arrivals during the time frame has to be known in advance. This mean, or the number of arrivals on average, shows up in the equation of our Poisson distribution, so we have to know what it is. The mean number of arrivals is denoted by the Greek letter lambda. Here's how we calculate Poisson distribution probabilities. Let's let x be our Poisson random variable. Then the probability of observing exactly k arrivals in a given time period is given by this equation. e to the negative lambda times lambda to the k power divided by k factorial. Here, e is the base of the natural logarithm. It's approximately equal to 2.718, but most of your calculators probably just have the e button on it, so you're good to go ahead and use that. Lambda is the average number of arrivals in this time period. It also serves as the parameter for the Poisson distribution. And k is the desired number of arrivals that you wish to see in this given period of time. Now the sample space for the Poisson distribution is a little bit different than the binomial as well. In the binomial distribution, you were limited to seeing zero successes all the way up to n successes because you were only running n trials. In the Poisson distribution, your sample space is actually all non-negative integers. You can witness zero arrivals, you can witness one arrival, you can witness two arrivals, etc. You're not limited to the number of arrivals that you can see. It's potentially unlimited. So your upper bound for the Poisson distribution doesn't exist. Let's calculate the probability of the earlier example. Now we're still looking at this professor whose office hours last for one hour from 9 to 10 a.m. He counts the number of students who come for assistance, and he also knows that historically there's an average of three students who show up every hour. We want to know the probability that exactly four students come for help during the hour. Before we can start plugging things into the Poisson distribution equation, we need to first identify lambda and k. 
Our parameter, lambda, is going to be equal to 3 because lambda represents the average number of students who arrive per unit time. The unit of time in this problem is one hour. He averages three students who come for help every hour. K, in this case, is going to be equal to 4. K represents the desired number of arrivals. We're looking for the probability that exactly four students come for help, so we set K equal to 4. Now let's let x represent the number of students who come for help during this office hour. What we're then looking for is the probability that x is equal to 4. Now taking all of the information that we have, we can start plugging things into the equation. We have e to the negative lambda, so e to the negative 3, times lambda to the k, 3 to the 4th, divided by k factorial, 4 factorial. Working each of these individual pieces out, we get 0 0.0498 times 81 divided by 24. And simplifying this gives us a final probability of 0 0.1681. So if an average of three students come to a professor's office hour, the probability that there are exactly four students who show up during that one hour period of time is 0 0.1681.